So we just covered MIG Synergic. We're now going to do MIG Manual, TIG and Stick. So if I select MIG Manual, again 2T, now it'll very simple, we'll just go straight to uh, Manual MIG Mode where I adjust my Y feed speed here, I adjust my voltage here, and I adjust my inductance here with this number sequence. Very straightforward. If we go to TIG, push the button, it'll now tell me the setup now needs to change. So my torch now for TIG needs to plug into the right side, which is my negative outlet, and my return lead needs to plug into the left side, which is my positive. Connect, it'll now say what diameter of tungsten am I using? 1 16th or 330 seconds? So I'll select 1 16th. Uh, I've got my torch trigger switch, 2T, and now my selection of material thickness. I'll dial that back to, um, to 1 16th. Now, it'll give me my parameters there. Here is my amperage. Once again, there's a red band and a white part on that red band, which is going to give me my window of optimum operation. Over here now in TIG, what this is, is my downslope time. So when I stop welding, how long do I want it to continue to uh, ramp down in, in time? So this is in seconds in time. And the last one here is actually post gas flow. So uh, how long do I want the gas to continue to run to shield that tungsten um, from any contamination? And obviously the higher the weld current, the hotter the tungsten is going to be and the longer my gas flow, post flow time should be. Last one, let's go to stick. Uh, once again, it's telling me now to plug my um, return lead onto the negative and my electrode onto the positive, my electrode uh, lead. It's asking me what type of electrodes, six, E60 or E70. So if I'm welding um, 6010s or uh, 6011s or 6014s, 6013s, general purpose, I'm here. If I'm running low hydrogen, typically 7018 type or 7016 type, I'm selecting here. Now ask me what diameter, so 330 seconds or 1 8th. In this case, let's go 330 second. And what material thickness am I welding? I'll dial it up. Remember, I'm limiting here because I'm only running on 120 volts, so it's reduced my material thickness. Now, that's put me in uh, 90 amps there um, and, a, and an arc force level of four and a welding amperage output of 90 amps, and away we go. Last one is the help button, where I have version of software, I have units, and I have help. Um, if I click on help, it'll give me a website and an email address to contact for any sort of technical support needed. And away we go. So there's the full rundown on a very simple user-friendly system on a great machine, the ProTech 215. MP.